Roger Corman, a cinematic legacy remembered through 10 must-see films. Roger Corman, the legendary film director and producer, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. With a career spanning over six decades, Corman's influence can be felt in countless genres, from horror and science fiction to comedy and drama. As we mourn his recent passing, it's only fitting to celebrate his contributions by revisiting some of his most iconic works. Here are 10 Roger Corman films that every cinephile must see before they die. The Little Shop of Horrors, 1960. This black comedy horror classic tells the tale of a meek florist who discovers a bloodthirsty plant that craves human flesh. Featuring a young Jack Nicholson in one of his earliest roles, The Little Shop of Horrors showcases Corman's talent for blending humor with the macabre. The Mask of the Red Death, 1964. Based on the chilling Edgar Allan Poe story, this atmospheric horror film stars Vincent Price as a decadent prince who throws a masquerade ball in the midst of a deadly plague. Corman's direction, coupled with Price's mesmerizing performance, makes this a hauntingly beautiful cinematic experience. The Pit and the Pendulum, 1961. Another Poe adaptation, this film follows a man who investigates the mysterious death of his sister-in-law at the hands of his sadistic brother. With its gothic atmosphere and suspenseful storyline, The Pit and the Pendulum is a prime example of Corman's mastery of the horror genre. Bucket of Blood, 1959. In this darkly comedic satire, a struggling artist becomes famous for his sculptures made from human corpses. As the bodies pile up, the artist's descent into madness becomes increasingly absurd and entertaining. Bucket of Blood showcases Corman's penchant for blending horror with social commentary. X, The Man with the X-Ray Eyes, 1963. This science fiction thriller follows a scientist who develops a serum that gives him X-ray vision. However, as his powers grow, so too does his descent into madness. X, The Man with the X-Ray Eyes, is a thought-provoking exploration of the consequences of unchecked scientific curiosity. The Raven, 1963. A comedic take on Poe's classic poem, this film features an all-star cast including Vincent Price, Boris Karloff, and Peter Lorre as rival magicians who engage in a series of magical duels. With its witty dialogue and imaginative special effects, The Raven is a delight oh, you like this video? through the Give us supernatural. A up and join the crew by clicking the bell. 7. House of Usher, 1960. This gothic horror film, based on Edgar Allan Poe's short story, follows a man who visits his fiancée at her family's decaying mansion, only to discover a dark family secret. Starring Vincent Price in one of his most iconic roles, House of Usher is a haunting tale of madness and obsession, showcasing Corman's mastery of atmosphere and suspense. The Trip, 1967. Written by a young Jack Nicholson, this psychedelic drama explores the mind-altering effects of LSD through the experiences of a man who takes a trip under the guidance of a guru. With its vibrant visuals and trippy soundtrack, the trip is a mesmerizing journey into the counterculture of the 1960s. The Intruder, 1962. Unlike Corman's usual fare, The Intruder is a searing drama that tackles the issue of racial integration in the American South. Starring William Shatner as a charismatic segregationist, the film is a powerful indictment of prejudice and bigotry. The Wild Angels, 1966. Often credited as the film that launched the biker movie genre, The Wild Angels follows a gang of outlaw bikers as they wreak havoc across the California desert. With its gritty realism and frenetic energy, the film captures the rebellious spirit of the 1960s counterculture. These 10 films represent just a fraction of Roger Corman's vast and diverse body of work. From horror and science fiction to comedy and drama, Corman's films continue to entertain and inspire audiences around the world. As we bid farewell to this cinematic pioneer, let us remember his legacy and the indelible mark he has left on the world of cinema.
Who's your daddy?